Good morning. My God, I'm on this little hike today and I thought I'd bring you into this moment with me. Such a beautiful, uh, just a beautiful area here in um, the Buller Mountain area. And I want to, I want to give you some, some practical insight this morning and encourage you to continue chasing your fucking dreams, to continue designing the lifestyle that you want and how you can know that you're on the right path. So, so many come to me and ask on a regular basis. They're like, Silas, how do I know if I'm on the right path? How do I know if I'm doing the right things? And what are some things that I, some keys that will help me know that I'm on the right path? <laughs> and um, it reminds me of this quote by Edward Blank, by, I'm sorry, by Edward Blake. He said, not much good can be done without disturbing something or someone. When you're on the right path, you know this, because there will be disturbances, there will be some chaotic moments, there will be some issues along the way. And here are some keys, here are some things that are very clear. If these things are happening, you know you're on the right path to something. And if they're not happening, it's time to reevaluate Maybe you've allowed your passion to be diminished. Check out the video here on burning passion because creating that burning passion is a key to attracting, creating, and manifesting our dreams. So the first thing is if no one has looked sideways at you in a minute, if no one's turned their head sideways like, what the fuck are they thinking? If no one's done that lately, it's probably because you are not pursuing your dreams hard enough. You're not shouting what you want to accomplish from the rooftops. You are not in hot pursuit of your dreams or of dreams that are at least high enough bar that people think they're a little nuts. If your goals, if your dreams aren't so high that people think they're a little nuts, you're not challenging yourself enough. You are not giving yourself enough to your dreams. You're shorting yourself. You apparently might not believe that you're capable of doing the extraordinary. I ask myself this question every day. What am I going to do today that's fucking historic? That's historic. What am I going to do today, this week, this month, this year, that's historic? And I break that down and I have certain and very specific goals that are set up to accomplishing these historic feats. And so what are you doing? If it's not historic, you're not gonna ruffle feathers. People aren't gonna, aren't gonna get disturbed if what you're going after isn't historic. I wanna encourage you right now to chase history, man. Go after history, be historic, be memorable. There's nowhere, I don't go anywhere or hang out with anyone where I'm not remembered. It doesn't matter whether I'm going to a bar or going to, and, and, and going to a party or just going on a hike. People remember the Guru Achille. They remember Silas. They're like, oh, they call me Jesus. They call me Tarzan. They call me all kinds, but they remember me. And they don't just remember me because I got long hair. They are memorable because I'm living my best life now. I'm living an historic adventure. My life is meant to make history. I'm fucking making history right now. The second thing is, if you haven't been judged lately, I mean where people are coming at you with judgments, like you're wrong, you can't do this, you shouldn't be trying this, um, you're going, if people aren't judging you, it's time to pause and reflect. Why aren't I being judged? If our society that is settled for the status quo aren't judging you, aren't making up shit about you, 
you're not ruffling enough feathers. It's time to fucking ruffle some feathers and be historic. Make history. Every person that has ever made history have been harshly judged and had stories made up about them and have been criticized. And if you're not facing judgments and criticisms and people aren't turning their heads sideways in awe of what you're doing and of your life, then I would say you're number one, not living authentic. And number two, your dreams and your goals, your ambitions aren't set high enough. There is no next moment. And so be all in, balls deep in this moment. Make history now. And right now, plan to make history in the next now as it unfolds. But my God, guys, listen. I believe that you, like me, are here to make history. I don't believe that you're here just to settle for the status quo. If you're watching this video, uh, what I want you to do is I want you to start making history right now. And one of the ways we do that is we declare what we are going to do or what we want to accomplish or the thing that we want to start mastering. I want you to drop a comment right now below and let me know the one thing that you want to do, that you want to be the best at, that you want to make history at. I'm not talking about I want to play in the NBA. I'm talking about I want to be an NBA champion. I want to be the best defensive player or I want to be an MVP or I want to be a speed skater or I want to be, what do you want to do the best at? What thing do you want to invent? Do you want to be, come on, drop your comments, be creative, use your imagination. Let's fucking ruffle some feathers. Let's shake up the status quo. I'm reminded of a quote by T.S. Lewis who said, only those who are willing to risk going too far will ever know how far one can go. It's time to explore our limitless nature. It's time to take some shit too far. Guys, you can do this. Stop settling for the American dream and start taking the cap off your dreams. Start shooting for the stars, man. And don't fucking apologize for it to anyone. Be the most authentic version of yourself in this moment that you can be. Don't bite your tongue. Don't shift your actions. Don't try to fit in. We live in a culture that's been trying to get you to fit in as long as you've been alive. And I'm telling you right now, it's time to stand out, not fit in. It's amazing to me that everybody always wants to stand out, be noticed, and be remembered, but they're trying to fit in to do it. Don't fucking fit in. In. It's time to stand out, you crazy ass motherfuckers. Let's stand out and let's make history. You can do this. I believe in you. I love you. Drop your comments. Let me know how you're going to stand out. Let me know what your dreams are. Begin declaring to the universe what you're going to accomplish, how you're going to be historic. And if you don't know, if something doesn't immediately come up in your mind, I want you to take a 20, 20, 30 minutes Stop the video, take 20 or 30 minutes and just ask yourself, have I begun to just settle? And I don't care how old you are. I don't care if you're 85 years old and you're watching this video and you're like, oh, I'm too old for that. You are never too old to make history. Right now, decide that you're gonna do that. Share this video with your friends. Share this with your family and be vocal, be willing to have people make judgments, criticize, and look at you like you're insane. Because every single person that's ever made history, every single individual that's ever made history was looked at like they were insane. So let's make history today. Love you guys. I hope you, <laughs> I hope you enjoy today as much as you know I'm going to. I want you to remember this one last thing. You guys know what it is. The more you awaken, to what and who we really are, the more you fucking play. Have a good day, guys.